Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to episode 12 of my Minecraft Falling Falling custom map survival let's play. So in the last episode, we got our mob spawner um, pretty close to being completed. As you can see, uh, or as you guys saw in the last episode, um, <coughs> sorry, things don't always happen as you want them to. And it got filled with mobs, which is, you know, that that's not what I was um, saying shouldn't happen, but... Okay, we are going to need the trap doors. We're going to need a bunch of wood. We're going to need a bunch of trap doors because we're going to be making a uh, pretty cool mob spawner. So I'm going to make a bunch of trap doors. Uh, we really are going to need probably more than that. Um, just based on what I know from previous knowledge building these. I haven't built one in quite a while, if I'm honest with you guys. We're going to need a bunch more signs. Uh, we might have to get some more wood, but mainly I need to make some more pickaxes because it's going to take a little bit of digging. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll sort of figure out how many signs we're going to need. Uh, we have a little bit extra signs. We have a ton of spruce wood, though, so we'll go ahead and use that uh, for some more signs here. Uh, but, oh, I don't need any more sticks. Okay. But yeah, it should be a pretty good episode. We're going to be building a bunch, so it should be pretty fun. Ah, I see there's different colors of signs now. Th these trapdoors will also work. Cool. Okay, so let's get it back up. I know my inventory is a little bit crazy. Let's do a little bit of sorting. Uh, we need to put this near, this near. Hold on. Okay. Inventory looks a lot cleaner. And uh, that makes me happy. I didn't put up spider eyes. Okay, put spider eyes. Okay. So, essentially what was going on is that we built this. It, we removed all the torches. We did a little dry run without the water canals. And, whew, <laughs> it works very well. Almost too well. So, we may get so many spawns in here that we won't be able to handle it. I also need to get this out. Uh, but we definitely need to be careful when we're building this because it's going to have the mobs drop into our base and we don't want to die, so we got to be very, very careful. Um, I do have some steak on me. I do need to make an infinite water source before we get started with any part of this because we're going to need to make a bunch of canals. Now, unfortunately, because this is an odd number of shape, it's like 25 by 25, our canals will not be in the very center, uh, but we'll, we'll do it as best we can. We don't have a shovel. Oh, man. Hold on. Let me go grab a shovel. Or wait, can we craft one? <gasps> we can't craft. No? Yes, we can. Okay. Look, we'll just mine out a few blocks of wood, and all will be good. Just like this. And now we can make one, because I think there is already... Ooh. I was going to say, I could get... Well, I already have one spruce sapling. I already have a crafting table, so we could just do it like this, and boom. We could have made that off the bat. We didn't need to get wood. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do one canal right here. They need to be two blocks deep, and uh, they'll have trap doors on both sides, like trap doors right here and right here, and you close them. And then Minecraft uh, AI for the uh, mobs thinks that, oh, okay, that means I can just go perfectly fine, and I can just walk here, and it's not a hole. And then, oh, it's so sad. I don't even have an iron pickaxe anymore because I lost all my, I lost all my iron because I died. I didn't have it on me, I don't think, but I lost all of it because, oh, it's just kind of sad. It's weird building a spawner when there's like logs. You like see logs. But yeah, the water will be over on this side. If you guys don't know how a spawner works, at least a dark room spawner. This is the only kind of spawner I used to make. I never really made dungeon spawners. Uh, but yeah, the water will just flow and it'll push them to a hole that's in the center. And uh, slowly but surely, oh man, that's painful. <laughs> but we don't really need redstone that much, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but we got to figure out where we want the center to be, so... I'm thinking maybe... Hmm, it really doesn't matter. We can make the water push them more, but I don't think... Okay, we'll go ahead and do another canal right here. So we just sort of have to mark out where we want our canals. And then just start building them. And uh, hopefully we'll end up with something pretty cool. We should get so many mobs in here, we can probably get level 30, like, absurdly quick. Which should be nice, potentially. I guess we'll sort of find out as we go. And then that means we want the other canal to be right on these two blocks. And, uh, yeah, should be pretty fun. So I'm going to dig these canals out off camera, because it's not going to be too exciting. And it's going to take a while, since I don't have a good pickaxe anymore. Yes, I know, I should be using my shovel. I know, I know. And then that means the last canal will be right here. And then this should be the hole in the center that they fall into. You see the water doesn't reach there, but luckily Neo's got the solution for you. But this is where the other canal is going to go. And they'll lead right to the center. But yeah, let me do that off camera and I'll come right back. Ah, well something good did come of this. Uh, we still have our diamond pickaxe so we can go farm this obsidian. And we're one step, well technically one block closer to getting to the nether. So uh, we have like three obsidian thus far I think. So we don't really need very much more. We'll grab this pickaxe, we'll snag that, and then go put the pickaxe back because we only have like 296 durability on it. So I'm trying to save it 
Um, if I ever get mending to put it on there, I really feel uncomfortable using the diamond pickaxe because I know I can die so easily on this. And oh man, I, I just realized there's not enough torches in there. Oh, I really hope it's not just filled with mobs. Okay, good. I need to make I need to be weary and put torches everywhere because otherwise things could go haywire in here real quick. But yeah, we'll get this obsidian and then we'll go put it up and I'll continue with the canals. We're we're very close to getting done. It's not going to require a whole much a whole lot more digging. Um okay, cool. And then we'll fill this in with whatever. Gravel is fine. All right, let me go put this up. All right, put up the pickaxe, put up the obsidian. And we'll put up the lapis too. So we got four obsidian. Only need six more, and uh, then we're we're we should be golden. I don't know if like I don't know how quickly I'll find those next six obsidian, but eventually I'll probably start like strip mining in this thing. Yes, strip mining, which will be interesting to strip mine when the blocks are randomized. But it will uncover the most blocks. I'll do it the most efficient way, and we should be able to find um, obsidian pretty quickly. See what I mean? If it's not lit up perfectly, things can spawn. Okay, but yeah, let me get back to digging. There's not much more to do. Only a few more blocks. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to go off camera because there's not that many more. Uh, we have to dig out at all. Um, the only tricky thing is is when the water stops flowing, um, you do have to do something a little bit different. If I had a bunch of packed ice, I could make this work a lot better. But we're not in a position where we have that. And, uh, it's so painful, I know, to watch. I know. I really wish I had an iron pickaxe again. I took it for granted. I really did. Just because I thought we were good on iron, and we are, we can always go find more, but for some reason, I feel like I had more iron than I did, but I guess not. Uh, but yeah, all you have to do when this happens is you just dig it one block down. That's all you have to do, and this ice is going to have to go away. Uh, but yeah, you just dig it one block down like this, and then you continue, you continue your water canals from wherever it stopped, and then it'll make one continuous stream. And it's perfectly viable. It really doesn't matter. You just have to make your hole where they fall. This, these four blocks right here are going to be where they fall down. So we'll have to make these deep and uh, hopefully drill down to the base. They can fall, I think, 19 blocks before they get uh, killed. Or 20. No, they, they're supposed to fall 23 blocks. I don't know. I'll figure it out before I actually finalize anything. But yeah, you put water like right here and here. And then before I do that, hold on. We need to take some signs and we need to get this settled. Uh, so basically, um, hmm, I'm trying to remember exactly. So I put the signs here, the water will flow on top. They need to be right here and right here, right? No, that won't do anything. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this exactly. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but, well, okay, so if there's water right here and right here, it needs to stop on those blocks. But if I put it right here, it's not really going to do much. I mean, it kind of pushes them, like, somewhat close, but then they have to, like, walk off the edge or get pushed. Uh, I think that's okay, but, like, right there, we can't really do anything. I guess they'll just have to fall in the hole? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'll, I'll figure it out, because I know, I know I know how to do it. I'm just, I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know why I can't figure that out. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get all this done. Okay. And then we need, how many more water buckets? We just need two more. We need the ones for this side and that side. Okay, so we need four more. But yeah, it's pretty fun to build these. I like it because you get to sort of figure out uh, how all these water physics work and whatnot. I think actually I know what I need to do, but I don't know how to, I know, I know what I need to do, but I don't know how to accomplish it with what we have going here. Yeah, right here and here, and then we'll go ahead and grab some more too. Uh, so basically, they need to flow into the center, but they can't flow, hmm, I don't want them to flow on these blocks, but I don't remember how I stopped that in, like, previous mob spawners. Uh, huh, well, let me think for a bit, and I'll come back when I have the solution. Okay, well, that's the best way I can make it work. I don't think there's, I think there, there will be so many mobs in these canals that they'll just fall in anyways. I don't think I really need to do much else, uh, but now I have to do... The most fun part, which is putting trap doors along all the walls. So all you have to do is just put trap doors like this, and they will think that it's a solid block. They'll walk over it, fall, and they're none the wiser. So I think I'll need to get some more trap doors, but we'll find out soon enough. Uh, just based on how many I need there, I definitely need more trap doors. Uh, but yeah, they'll fall into here, and the mobs will they'll stay right here for a second, and then, and then they'll get pushed by the mobs that are behind them. So I don't really think I need to worry at all. 
And also when I grabbed those other water buckets, I could have just dug a block down. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes when you're recording, you don't think like how you'd normally play. Yeah, we definitely need more trapdoors. So it, it is kind of wood heavy to build these, but you know, in a normal world, you don't really, I mean, you could still build a dark room spawner, but they don't really work as well as they used to. Used to, that was the best spawner to build and they worked super well, but honestly now they don't work too good. Uh, we don't really have that much wood. All right, well, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to craft a bunch of trap doors with whatever wood types we have. And hopefully I don't die on the way down. Oh! You know, sometimes, sometimes, things like that happen, and you just feel bad. I just lost my, my only iron sword. I lost my only buckets. I lost everything that I had worked for. Oh, man. <laughs> that kind of stings. Well, hey, at least we have infinite leather armor, right? Because we don't have to worry about that, right? That's just great, you know? We don't have to worry about leather armor. <sighs> That's disappointing. That really hurts. I don't I don't even know what I was thinking. Like, why, why was I like... Wh what was I even... Ugh. Dang it. <laughs> I wish there was a way I could get my stuff back, but... Unfortunately, that's not how that works. Okay, well, we'll make a bunch of trap doors. <sighs> we'll see. We were ahead, we, but now we don't have any iron. Like, we literally have no iron at all. Uh, we, all we only had an iron sword, so now we're going to have to be working with uh, this kind of stuff for quite a while. That's really unfortunate, and most of our wood is going to be going into this anyways. Oh, man. Hey, but that's just how it goes sometimes, guys. That's that's the beauty of Minecraft. You lose it all, then you get it back again. But on this map, it's a little different. I should just not do that anymore. I shouldn't fall like that because I literally said, I, if I don't die, go falling down, and then I, I missed it by a second. I didn't press S on my keyboard quick enough to fall back onto the ladder and promptly died. Well, that's disappointing, I guess. At least we have a diversity of trap doors in here. I don't know. Di you guys always say, Neo, how do you stay so calm during these things? Well, you can't hear the explicatives. I'm yelling in my head. And uh, I've died so many times in Minecraft and lost it all so many times in Minecraft that it really, I'm just kind of numb to it. <laughs> if, that, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I made too many trapdoors. Dang it. Oh, man. Well, I did make a lot of trapdoors I didn't need. But as you guys can see, that's how it will work. Let's go over here. And let's just hop up. Do we have any blocks? Yeah, this will work just fine. We'll hop up right here. And we'll remove all the torches. And then uh, this thing should start. Oh, dang it. I should not remove all the torches. We got to dig this shaft straight down. Ah, I lost all my torches too. You guys can't even see. Okay, well, I'm going to dig this down because it's going to get super dark. And I know you guys won't be able to see very well. So let me do this real quick. And uh, I'll come back when I'm at the bottom. Because if I didn't quit recording, this is what you guys would see, which is, I know it's extremely hard to see, so I'm not going to keep filming. And as soon as I say that, l look what happens. We get a piece of coal, and then look, we can make this so much, oh, we can make this so much better. Look at that. Aha! Alright, well, hey, that's one positive. See, Minecraft's like, I'm sorry about that death, man. Here, take this piece of coal ore. <laughs> Thanks. But yeah, I really need to get more iron now to make some iron tools. Um... I need to get some sort of iron farm going because we're going to run out of iron. I mean, I can still have a block farm at the top of the world, but that's not ideal. Only because it'll probably take a long time to get that iron um, just to spawn. Because it does just randomly fall and generate. So, I mean, obviously, like, if I mine out 1,600 blocks and get four blocks of iron, that would take a while of farming up there. And I also have no... Oh, man. I have no idea how far down this goes. Do I have two, two pickaxes? Okay. I have no idea how far down this goes. Um, well, obviously it goes down to Y level 8, but I'm not even close to there yet. I do hear cows. See, I just don't know how far they can fall before they get really, really hurt. I do hear the cows, so I think we're getting somewhat close. But I just need to make sure they don't fall and die here. Okay, so there's some wood, so we are getting somewhat close. That's probably close to our original house, which means I don't want to... Okay, no? Well, planks can't fall, so at some... Yeah, this is close to the original house. See? This is where that staircase is. You guys remember? Uh, yeah, we'll have our mobs fall into here. Like this. Okay. So I think, like, them falling to right here should be good. I don't know how much further they really need to fall. Uh, but we'll have to get a way to get up and down from here. So maybe our mob spawner access will be right here. Something like that. And we'll have to make a few ladders, but 
yeah, things are starting to look up again, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to try to look at it from as positive as a side as I can. Because we did just lose everything we had, uh, tool-wise at least. One, two, three. Perfect. You know, we can even remove this bottom block. Make it look like a hanging ladder. You just kind of hop up on it. Perfect. And then we'll make some pretty way for them to fall. Um, uh oh. I just saw the cow fall. I was like, what was that? Uh, so we'll put them in an area like right here and we need to make sure all this is lit up because things can spawn in here and that would not be too good. So we'll just sort of fill it in as we go. We'll make this whole area a little bit prettier in the future but for now we're just going to leave it like this. Uh, except you have to be on these two blocks so we'll have to make a little staircase like this. Yeah, this is very rudimentary but now I got to go up there remove all the torches and then yeah, that's perfect. You can get up right here and then these blocks need to be here. And then actually we need to get some slabs going because otherwise this is going to be a very messy situation. And we'll just, I want to make it look as pretty as possible. So I'm trying to fill in all the blocks that you can see. Uh, I'll grab some more cobblestone. You guys are probably like, Neo, what are you doing? I don't know. Do I have more cobblestone? No. Okay, so let me make some slabs out of cobblestone. I <laughs> love the cows. Uh, but hopefully things will fall from our position in here. I don't know like how far away they'll spawn, but I assume they'll still spawn up there when we're down here. We already have the slabs. Okay. Well, hopefully we get enough zombies where we get a good bit of iron real quickly. Uh, but if we want it to turn into a mob drop farm, it wouldn't be too difficult. Okay, we'll put the slabs like right here and then right here. And then creepers will still be able to kind of see you. It just depends on how far away you are from them. Oh, come on. Come on. Everyone's been waiting for the spawner. Everyone's been waiting. Now they got to wait more because of your slow butt. Okay. And then we'll have this area over here so we can sort of stand and run away if need be. If creepers decide to act up and start exploding, uh, we'll put this little area right there to run away into. I don't know what's up here. I think a staircase or something. We'll just sort of even it out. And uh, we'll make this room look better eventually, but I'm really curious to see. Let me make sure there's nothing wrong with what I've done here. Okay. So things can fall in here. Um, let me make sure there's no ladders or anything blocking it. All right. Hopefully they don't fall more than 23 blocks and just instantly die because they don't have to move that whole room up. I suppose I should have tested it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, let me come back when I'm in there. All right. Get in here. Now we gotta break all the torches. We'll leave these trap doors open so we can get across. And uh, yeah, we gotta do. We don't have to do this quickly because you have to be 25 blocks away for things to uh, start going haywire. So as soon as we remove all these torches, it's dark enough in here for things to spawn. And hopefully we'll get. Well, we get all these torches back, which is good because we don't exactly have a whole ton of torches. Cool. It's nice to have the trap doors there as kind of a bridge. Uh, I guess we can remove this. We have an infinite water source down there, but we don't have any buckets anymore, unfortunately. Okay, what's lighting this up? Is it the redstone or something? Is there a hole? Oh, there's torches. Well, we can't have those anymore. All right, cool. We'll break this, and then we should be good. That should be dark enough. Is there a hole over here, too? I think there is. To sky? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, we'll put stuff in here and stop this from happening okay that looks to be nice and sealed up let's see if there's anything else we need to remove uh, let's check I don't think so except this door needs to be kind of like this to let to keep the light out at least which will diminish our spawn area a tiny bit but it's not a big deal I kind of want to put another door here and I don't have another one I don't have enough of any wood to build. actually I do have no spruce okay we'll build I just want to have a bunch of doors because otherwise things can get kind of bad. And then we'll put a door right there too. That way you have to open a bunch of doors and you can always close a bunch. Okay, is there any torches? Anything? I feel like there's still some light right here. But from what? I don't think from anything. I think I'm just kind of crazy. Alright, well let's test to see if it works. <laughs> Finally. Oh, it's the redstone. Because when you walk over redstone it actually emits a little bit of light. All right, well, let's go down. Let's see how this thing works. I'm kind of excited to see. Hopefully, it works pretty quickly. I don't know, like, you know, how efficient it'll truly be. Man, that really sucks that we fell and lost all of our stuff. I'm still, I'm still hurt by it, but it'll be okay. It's not that big of a deal, but I have to go farm some iron now with uh, an, a stone pickaxe. Hey, at least we have a ton of cows. We did have a good bit of XP, but, well, we lost it. 
<laughs> All right, let's go see this spawner working. Oh, well, okay, hold on. There we go, that'll work better. So we just have to wait for things to fall down. I want to get a good view. Oh, I just thought I heard a mob spawn. Not a mob spawn, but a mob fall. They should be up in there. I kind of want to go check it just to make sure I don't want anything uh, going wrong. But I think if I save and quit, hold on. Okay, I saved and quit. We'll see if that helps anything. Yeah, I just heard a skeleton fall. And I think I just heard a skeleton die. Oh no. We may have made it a little bit too deep. Uh, we'll go check it in a second. We're gonna put this up, this up. Do we have any gravel? No, we do have dirt though. We don't need dirt. Uh, we're gonna keep a stack of cobble on us. Because uh, we're probably gonna need it. Let's put up this stuff. Okay. And a stick. We can put, we'll keep the sticks. You know what? Actually, we'll put them up in there. And then we'll put up the bamboo. Alright, so there's our sorted inventory. Where did I put my stake at? I had to put it somewhere. Yeah, they're definitely just falling and dying, which is good for mob drops, but unfortunately, I want to be able to actually kill them. And uh, it's not going to work, so we're going to have to make this thing a little bit higher up. Ugh. Yeah, it should work pretty efficiently. As you guys can kind of see up there, they should just get pushed down like that. Nice. Oh, crap. Nice. See? There's like a ton of them up there. And as it sort of heats up, it'll start to spawn them quicker and quicker. And, uh, yeah, this spawner works very well. It's just they're a little bit too high up to work properly. Um, how much higher can they be? Can they be right there? Okay, so they're not dying right there, are they? No, but they're going to be... Are they one-hit kill right here? Well, actually, I need to see if I can punch them. Okay, so they can fall one more block and then be one hit. I have to determine this. Oh, crap. Crap. Die. Okay. So I think it's this block. I know this is kind of crazy to see. I think it's this block right here that they can fall and be one hit. No, they die right there. Okay. So it's this block right here. All right. Well, we got to make this whole thing a little bit taller, unfortunately. It's not that big of a deal, but I hear Enderman falling into it. I think, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, and then put a slab, and we're good. I hear an Enderman. I don't know where it is, but I'm kind of scared now. I know this whole thing looks like a mess. I do apologize. I just... Okay. But yeah. See, things fall pretty good here at a pretty good pace. I mean, a pretty good pace is kind of... That's kind of understating it. But if we stand right here... Is there any place a creeper can... Okay, a creeper can... Okay. <gasps> a music disc. And that's my favorite music disc, too. Uh, I'll put some hoppers right here. Well, no. Ugh. We can't get hoppers because we don't have... Okay. We'll have to do this a little better. I'm trying to decide how I want to go about this. I think we're just going to dig all the way around it. And then uh, be able to get all the mob drops like that. I think that'll be the best way to go about this. I hear an enderman, but I don't know where the enderman is. I have not a clue. But I need to go craft some more slabs. Uh, I am sorry I died. And also our cows are going to be going ham while we're down here. Oh, the Enderman's down here. Okay, well, is this Enderman going to kill us? We have a stone sword, so it may take a bit. Yeah, the Enderman's just going to... Oh, nope. Well, we got an Ender Pearl. That's our first Ender Pearl, I think. Heck yeah. <laughs> we also got a music disc, another one. We'll put that in here. We have a we have one up top, remember. So I'll go ahead and get that one in a second. I really wish I had iron. Surely I have some tucked away somewhere in here. I swear that I did. We have iron shovels. Okay. But I guess we really don't have any iron. I thought that we did, but I think I was wrong. I thought I just heard something use a ladder. I was like, wait. <laughs> oh, I had ladders in here, dang it. Yeah, I don't have any. That's okay. All right, well, let's go back up here. There's going to be a lot of stuff. Like, oh my gosh. Well, that's who was, who was using our ladder. <laughs> it was this Enderman. But yeah, Endermen can spawn in there, and they will spawn in there in high quantities because that's the only three high area for things to spawn. But as you guys can see, this thing's kind of... 
hyper efficient. Like, we're gonna be able to get levels real, real quick. So I'm gonna go around here, we're gonna break all these blocks. But cool, I'm glad we got a mob spawner going. I'm not happy with how it started out, though, with us dying and losing all of our stuff, but... Uh, I don't know, that's just how Minecraft goes sometimes. You just die, you just lose all your stuff, and then you start from the beginning again. Dang it, Gravel. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that, Gravel? But eventually I'll put hoppers right here. I know that that's like the best thing to do. And that's what I will do as soon as we have access to hoppers. But for right now, I really don't have a way to get hoppers because I don't have iron. If I've said that like a million times, so I need to stop. But yeah, we don't have... Oh my gosh, what is going on? Don't you dare explode on me, creepers. But yeah, I just need a way to get all the way around because I'm, I won't be able to get all the stuff if I can't. Oh my gosh. That Enderman just died from falling. <laughs> Dude, this is so crazy. Yeah, spiders are the only thing. They're good. They might clog it up a little bit. I can't really see up there. But yeah, creepers are really the only problem. I just don't want them to... I think what I need to do is like this. That way they can't... Because if they don't have a sight line on you, they won't kill you. Or they won't explode. But yeah, spiders, you see, they won't... They might clog it up a little bit, but I don't think I need to worry too much. Alright, but let me clear out this area around it. I'll quit gibbering and jabbering. I know I've just, like, talked and not shut up. So let me get this done, and I'll come back when I'm... What? What? <laughs> I guess this is just one of those parts... Here's iron, too. But now we have a free crafting table. Not bad. Okay, I gotta go thin out these cows. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Well, you guys couldn't hear it, but like, there's so many cows. And I love the... Okay, to see, our mob spawner may be having a little bit... Did you take one of my melons, dude? You did take one of my melons. Um, this may be a little bit of a problem. Um, I love you, Enderman, but this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to start killing you. Um, because they are gonna spawn up there, and then once they take damage, they teleport, so when they fall... They're just going to teleport. Why are these things dying now? What is that noise? Is that a... I think that's one of those. But yeah, we got one iron. <laughs> which is great. But kind of depressing since we only have one iron. But our mob drops chest is going to have to be expanded here pretty soon. Because we're going to fill that thing up in no time at all. Um, but yeah, I was going to craft some more tools. Oh, we already have an axe. Okay. It's really all I needed to do, but I was gonna, I just wanted to come back to show you that, like, these mobs and these cows, everything is gonna be insanely efficient because there's nowhere else for things to spawn in this world, and they're gonna just, yeah, like, this is like 30 seconds worth. Die, dude. What are you even doing? How does he have, maybe they have extra health? I don't know, but yeah, let me clear this out. Well, I've countered an issue. This is where our cow spawner is. If you guys can see, this is where our cow spawner is. So we can't exactly dig out these blocks right here, but I think it's okay. Um, I have this area all dug out around it, and uh, as you guys can hear, um, mobs like to fall here very, 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 very quickly. <laughs> I've just been, uh, oh, well, I did this wrong a little bit. So actually, it's perfect like this. Just if you mess up anything and then mobs get in here, like it'll blow up this whole thing. So I'm trying to be very meticulous with where I place my blocks. Okay. So like that, light up this area, uh, even some things out, and then we should be good. Cool. I don't want. I just wanted to make it look as good as possible for at least right now. Um, obviously, there's little areas I'll have to fix and touch up in the future, and I don't want to have. I want to get ladders. Hold on. I'm gonna make this so much better. Because right now, it's a little disruptive with how it works. We'll grab our ladders, and we'll make this a whole ton better. We need to find an area we just want to get straight up and down. I think just right here is perfect. So we'll just dig all these blocks straight down, nix that ladder we have currently, and then, uh, yeah, right here is perfect. Just put these right here, and then drill these all the way up. Put any blocks that need to be put. Boom, boom, boom. One right here. Yeah, you guys can sort of hear things are going crazy in the spawner. And then we'll just sort of fill this area in because we don't really don't need it to be here anyways. It's doing us no good. We'll just fill it in. You guys can hear things are going wild up in there. Things are going wild. And then we'll break these blocks. Alright, cool. That should work a lot better uh, now that we have our shafter here. It's actually perfectly lined up with the edge of this, so I'm happy with how that turned out. If anything good came out of this episode... We have a very, very nice spawner. 
I don't know how we keep getting music discs, but... Like, see what I mean? We're almost at level 30. So I think it's about time that we start enchanting next episode. Oh, I don't have any sugar cane. Hmm. That could be a problem. I haven't seen any sugar cane fall at all. Huh. Well, hey, at least we have a bat down in here. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll figure out the sugar cane. Uh, well, we already have that disc. We don't have that disc, though. Um, I'll figure it out how we can get sugar cane, because we have to make paper, obviously. I don't think we have any sugar cane. It may be in a barrel somewhere in the world, so we'll have to go and find it. Yeah, we definitely don't have any sugar cane. If there's another way to make paper, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to try and attempt whatever you guys ask me to. Yeah, we're getting a nice music disc collection. Pretty fun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more content from me in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified when I upload. If you don't want to see content from me, don't subscribe. Please don't do it. But if you really, really want to, and you want to... Okay, I gotta kill this Enderman. This thing's annoying me so bad. You need to get out of my house, dude. It's not fair, okay? I only have a stone sword. Hey, we have a melon block. Yeah, we have these melons growing, but we never really use them. God, Endermen are so loud. Yeah, the cow farm works, the mob farm works. We got a good source of food, good source of XP, so we're in a good position. Uh, maybe next episode we'll go and find some iron, because we really do need to find iron. Like, honestly, it's so annoying not having it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!